Hey everyone, Token Dave over here, the dirty token black guy who's just trying to get by. And welcome back to Comic Book Origins. Here, I talk about the first appearance of a superhero or villain directly from the source comic book material, having little or nothing to do with how they're introduced in the movies or TV series. <sighs> well, finally here, my final comic book origin in celebration and anticipation of the new Black Panther movie. And, you know, with all of this, with me mostly going over obscure characters, and then me going over my favorite character that was added into the newer mythology, hmm, there's one character that I do not think gets enough attention. Now, this character is not obscure. You know, a lot of the newer fans know this character. But, by the same token, no one really talks about him. So, and to be honest, I think he's a really cool character and a very creative addition to the Black Panther mythology. And that person is actually Kevin Casper, a.k.a. Casper Cole. The second person to wear the Black Panther mantle. Uh, well, technically, just in the comic books, he is the second person to wear the Black Panther costume we see in the comic books, but in the mythology, he is really not the second. He is like way later, but he does hold the distinction of being actually the first American to wear the Black Panther habit. So who is Casper Cole and how did he get the habit? Well, I'll be frank. I don't totally know how he got the habit. I mean, I know how he got it. I don't know what resulted from it exactly because like I wasn't reading as much Black Panther at this time period because this was actually in the late 90s to this is like the late 90s into the mid 2000s and basically this story actually occurred in the early 2000s so there was a lot of things that I missed, you know. However, Basically, the comic starts off with basically one, like, you know, street thug who has guns to his face. And basically, someone's interrogating him. And the person interrogating asking how many is inside. And then he says six. And then we see, and basically, we actually see a, a building that's pretty much like, you know, it looks like, it looks like it's run by criminals, which it is. But it's hard to determine if it's like a drug building or a gambling rink building. But judging by the characters that are there, you know, the, um, hate to sound stereotypical, but being that it's in Harlem, kind of run-down building, and a lot of African-American, like, you know, gang members, it's probably a drug building. And there are a couple of, uh, there are a couple of, like, you know, detective-grade cops in there. Well, basically, they get ambushed by, you know, there's a, there's an ESU unit coming into the building. Oh, for those that don't know, in New York City, ESU is Emergency Service Unit, basically the equivalent of the SWAT team. Anyways, they're browsing into the building, and basically, you know, before they get somewhere, a guy, um, the Black Panther comes out, decked out in a trench coat, with guns, shoots down one police officer, a uh, one ESU officer, tosses him out the window, and has the, basically, the sign, dirty cop on it. And then, you know, he goes into the other people in the room, and basically, you know, he beats the crap out of them, but there's one particular cop, one black cop, who he takes money and forces it in his mouth and everything, telling him that he's a dirty cop as well, and then he leaps out of the window and disappears. Cool skills, if you ask me. You know, oh, and he kidnapped one of the other people that was in that room and everything. He's in his expensive decked out car and all, um, tells him to disappear. And he takes that expensive car and, you know, that car actually ends up on my avenue, which I'm over here like, is this my avenue in the Bronx or my avenue in Brooklyn? Anywho, so after that, you know, He's been watching the thing for a while, and then he decides, you know what, this is no nothing's happening, time to go home. So, he goes to a rooftop, takes off the mantle, and we don't see T'Challa. We actually see some Caucasian dude. 
Well, he's not really Caucasian. He's actually a mulatto, as you see, because he has a place up in Harlem, and we see that the lights are out. And when he goes into the building, you know, in the apartment, a Caucasian lady comes out and basically is telling him, listen, the light's been out for a little bit. You know, Gwen is bought, is going uh, is going crazy and everything. And then Casper says, listen, Ma, I understand. Like, I'll take care of this. And then, you know, Gwen comes out and she's actually an Asian female and she's expecting and she's on Casper's case, you know, about him trying to be super cop and everything, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're pretty much living off of his mother's social security because we find out that Casper has been suspended for some time. And that he's busting his hump to try to get a great detective, a great, uh, a great detective ranking and everything. Which, you know, he feels like once he gets that, he'll get more money and everything. And he could move out of the Harlem apartment with his girl and potentially his mom. And his girl tells him that, well, we know one other cop that was like, you know, busting his hump like that. And look where it ended, and look where it ended him up. In jail. So... That happens, and then, you know, uh, Casper's mom says, oh, you forgot to get the peony. So he goes to the store to get the peony, and he is approached by a dude, and a white dude, that's dressed in all white, and tells him that you. he notices that he's been wearing the Black Panther habit, and then they go into an alleyway, and they talk, and I always forget this dude's name, but basically, he's a character called The Hunter, alright? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, and... I don't really know much about him because, like, I just know... The only thing I know about him is, basically, he was born in Wakanda. He's a white dude and everything. He got adopted by T'Chaka. And, basically, you know, there's a li there's a love-hate relationship between him and T'Challa. Anywho, he tells him, listen, you know, you gotta give that mantle back because you're disgracing it. Blah, blah, blah. Or, if you want to keep it, keep it. But let me, like, you know, be your mentor and everything. So, Casper says no. And then he goes to his sergeant, who's his boss, and his, he's basically telling his sergeant, listen, I'm trying to clear all my crew's name because we all got set up, blah, 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 and that's why I got the suspension. And then, he's, and then after that conversation, they go to a penitentiary, and lo and behold, he meets his father, who his father tries to tell him how to be a cop and everything, and who are some of the informants, and basically tells him that, you're playing a very dangerous game, and you've only been a cop for two years. You know, watch yourself and be careful. And learn to be a better liar if you want to be a cop. And basically, that's the first appearance of Casper Cole, the second, well, the first American Black Panther. Now, this was where, oh, and by the way, he appeared in issue 50. This is where I picked up reading Black Panther again for the third time. You know, I read some of the earlier 2008 issues and everything for a couple of years. I stopped reading for a while and I got back and this was the first time I read a Black Panther comic and it's a totally different character. And this dude was pretty cool actually. I really love Casper Cole as basically the Black Panther who he ends up losing the title of Black Panther because some things happen and everything. But all in all, cool character. I hope that he gets incorporated into the MCU, which I actually do think they will do that when after T'Challa has his trilogy, but that's just me. But have you guys ever heard of Casper Cole as the next Black Panther? What do you think of him? Do you like the idea? Please drop me a comment below. Give me a like. Follow me on Facebook and Token Dave or on Twitter at Token Dave 80. Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when new video loads. But until then, this has been Token Dave. The dorky-talking black guy who's just trying to get by. I'll catch all of you later.